everybody, it's you Flacco back at again with another Madden YouTube. And today we're gonna be doing the top 10 best cards in Madden or the top 10 must have cards. These cards can be any single position. Obviously it's gonna be the more important positions or if a card is just this good at a position, it'll be on this list. But if you guys enjoy videos like this, I do top 10s for quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers. I do game plays as soon as the cards come out within the hour. I do everything. Make sure to smash that like button. One like can help out this channel so much. And we are on that road to 10k one sub can help me out so much and let's get right into number 10 for 10 we have Deion sanders it might shock a lot of you guys to see him this low on the list but i think corners are just i don't know they're like compared to the wide receiver position they are definitely lackluster and the thing that i've noticed with this Deion is that press it's really sucks because pressing isn't good at all this year but they've made pressing a little bit better because the dollar formation is kind of getting into the meta a little bit so you're seeing a lot more people press but you really just can't even do it at all with this Dion 81 is just very low but he's still it's still Dion he's still very good enough to make this top 10 I'm just being a little judgy obviously I shouldn't be with the card this good but 94 man 93 zone he has really really top end speed right there at 93 the only guys that are, there's only two other players that are 94 speed and they're both at the wide receivers position which sucks that the corners are slower than the wide receivers it really does suck but that's just how the dice rolled this time of the year he's also a six foot corner he's not really good in the box you guys know that but he is a coverage corner that will lock down and Dion always seems to play better than his name you can also put him at kick returner pretty sure i don't know it doesn't show on here but i believe he has a 90 something spin move as well and juke move so this guy you gotta put him at returner as well nine we have tyree kill speaking of those 94 speed wide receivers we have one right here 94 speed Tyree with only we all know he's 5'9 but when you have when you're the fastest card in the game and there's only one other guy that is tied with you in that speed or even one other card in the game tied for you that speed speed will always kill inside of Madden the cheetah if you guys look at the card as well he literally hits all six threshold debt receiver he hits all six of them. And you, if you guys are wondering what thresholds I'm talking about, the catching, catching traffic, and smack catch, that's three thresholds right there. And then the three route running, short, medium, and deep. He's all above 90 when powered up. Obviously, you want to power him up for that spec catch. This card is just amazing. It's Tyree Kill as well. He's one of the best returners in the game, just like Dion was. And his juke move, change direction, everything. He's great after the catch. Tyreek is just almost a must-have, especially if you guys do not know. He, you, you could snipe this card for under 200K sometimes. I've, I've seen him at 195, especially with Blitz coming up. Dude, you'll be able to get Tyreek under 200K. This is a must on your team. Number eight, we have Evan Ingram. This is a very, very glitchy tight end. I absolutely love the tight end position. I know most people do. He's actually the only tight end on this list, so I do think he is the best tight end in the game. Obviously, he doesn't have like the run blocking, say like a Gronk brings, or even the brand new, I think his name is Charlie Young, if I'm not mistaken, in the Bo Nose program. This card is 92 speed, being the fastest guy in the game. You just can't compete with that. That's all that matters at the end of the day, like I said. He also has all three thresholds for catching. Oh, no, he hits two out of three. I, I didn't even see the catching in traffic. He hits the normal catching at 92, and his spec catch at 94 is absolutely nuts. And if you guys know Evan Ingram, most Giants fans troll him for not being able to catch. But let me show you guys a glitch on this card, right? We all know how good he is, the carrying after the catch. We all know how good he is. But let me show you a nice little glitch. I probably shouldn't show this. But I'm always for the people. I'll always be for the people. If you guys go over to his power up and then go to upgrade and you click this tier right here just to a 90 overall, he does get that 92 speed. Yes, he gets 92 speed after what is this? Literally 4,000. No, not even 4,000. Yeah, yeah, it would be 4,000 training. 4,000 training, buy the power for 9K. You might have to get that 85. It'd be around 70K to get a 92 speed tight end at 90. Obviously, he's not going to have the crazy catching and route running of all time, but he's still much cheaper than the LTD, and you're getting a 92 speed tight end for basically almost free. Number seven, I have what I think is the best corner in the game, Everson Walls. He's basically a better Dion, if that makes sense. He's a six foot one corner, so he has that inch on him. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a 
lot at the end of the day. And also the one lackluster, he's literally the same in almost every stat. The one lackluster that Dion has is that press, right? And he has plus 13 on his press, which is nuts. So the same speed, they both hit the threshold of a man in zone. He's better in the box too with 82 power and 70 tackling and 81 block shed and 94 pursue. He's just a better Dion. I know it's hard. Like, I love Dion personally. I absolutely love him. And, yeah, it's just hard to put a guy over him, especially with the name like Dion. But Everson Walls is just a better card. You just literally look at him. You could just look and just, you know, it's just one of those that slaps you in the face. For six, I have Khalil Mack. This card is absolutely dominant on the sideline or the sideline on the edge of the line right there. 89 base speed. Obviously, we wish it. Dude, that's a lot faster. I, I don't know why I'm wishing for 90. It's that's a lot faster than they've ever given us a Khalil Mack card, like a lot faster. I do have him above LT I know they're both different positions and LT and him on the same line is absolutely like just nuts that's like what you want but this card looking at him he has 90 finesse move 94 power move and a 94 block shed so he's the same speed as LT he just has a little bit higher when it comes to the power move and also that block shed being 94 getting up to 95 and two out of those three stats and he also hits all three out of the three pass rushing the pass rushing thresholds are finesse move power move and block shed hits all three and two of them are getting above 95 I mean, Khalil Mack, it's, it's, I love to see Khalil Mack have a top end card. It seems like he's always getting cheated on the speed side of things. Khalil, this card is just, it's just a beaut. And he's another one of those harvest cards, like 200K, 140. Okay, this got to be somebody's, yeah, yeah, this has got to be somebody sniping. But yeah, under 200K, if you can get him, this card is like an absolute steal. Five, we have Keyshawn Johnson. And before I get into Keyshawn Johnson, I really want to say, I know a lot of people might be wondering where the running backs are. I think the running back class, or class, the running backs are just so good right now in the game that you don't, like there's not one running back where it's like, oh, this guy's definitely a top 10, you know what I mean? I think there's so many good running backs in the game, like LeGarrette Blunt, you obviously got Kamar and Derrick Henry. There's like, you know, I don't think any of them are that much better than the next guy where they have to be on a list like this, where these cards are just so good at their position. But anyways, moving on at number five, we do have that Keyshawn Johnson. This is the power diversion. So he only has 93 speed, but he's a route runner. So he's the best archetype in the game. All of his catching is going to be above 95, which is absolutely crazy. He's going to have 92 short, 94 medium and 94 deep. His stats are like ridiculous. They're for sure the best at the wide receiver position. He's six foot four and he's a route runner, like I said, but that's not even the best thing about him. He is the only wide receiver in the game to get playmaker. If you guys don't know what playmaker is, if you guys ever have had a broken play, you're outside the pocket and you move your right stick and your player reacts and bounces off the sideline, this ability makes that 10 times faster. It's literally broken. You could do it on a slant. And if you have a slant coming across the field, you flick your right stick to the left side of the, they're in a break. It's almost like a, a makeshift zig route. It's absolutely broken. And when you're six foot four in this fast, this card is amazing. Number four, we have Jabril Peppers. This card is absolutely nuts. I think this card is almost a must have for anybody that can't afford him. He's another LTD, which sucks, but he's the only safety in the game. I know 92 speed's not the best, but believe it or not, yes, that is the fastest safety in the game. The, they're like we have also Jamal Adams tied right there but the reason why I have him over a guy like Jamal Adams although he is shorter by an inch or two the reason I have him he's the only safety in the game that has above 90 man and above 90 zone so this card is like it says right here a hybrid he could do literally everything on the field he's good in the box too and 94 hit power 94 hit power with these stats is crazy 90 tackling 95 pursue he doesn't have the best block shed but if you can get him in the open field this dude is gonna make the plays for you he should tackle all of the big guys as well with 90 tackling this card is just an animal three we have bruce smith this is a card that i am so so excited to add on to the team if you guys do not know there's really the only way to really get these cards are buying those 85s off the market or pulling them out of packs there's no challenges no re-rolls nothing so it really sucks these cards are stupid expensive right now but this doesn't make like, i can't leave him off the list because of that he's basically if you compare him to other pass rushers like lawrence taylor and also khalil mack let's compare them he is plus one speed which remember speed is king especially in, especially off the edge of the line is as well he's hitting all three thresholds for that pass rush 90 finesse move 94 power move and also a 92 block shed so he takes a step back from block shed to clomac but remember that plus one speed really should make shift for all of that he also has 92 strength and he's another big boy six foot four 260 
Bruce Smith, I love to see him back in the game. This is just, I think this is the best pass rusher in the game right now. Number two we have, which I think is the best wide receiver in the game. And if you notice, two of these three wideers, or two, like even like Brandon Marshall and Plaxico Burris, they're all in the Jets theme team. Robbie Anderson, another one, and obviously Keyshawn Johnson. The Jets theme team is absolutely broken right now. But if you look at him, 94 base speed. He is six foot three. So he takes that plus one speed from Keyshawn Johnson. He's also six foot three. So he's very, very tall. He's hitting all three catching thresholds. He's hitting all three deep route running medium and short. So he's six for six on thresholds. This card is just amazing. He's literally amazing. 94 speed. The reason I have him over a guy like Tyreek, even though Tyreek's like better after the catch, is that he is literally what? One, two, three. He's literally five inches taller than him. Five, wait, no, would it be five? I'm an idiot right now. Five, nine, five, ten. You, whatever, you guys get the point. Five, nine to six, three. I don't know why I can't do mental math right now. It's literally 1030 in the morning. But uh, Robbie Anderson, this card is amazing. Number one, I still think this is the best card in the game. I still do because of the value he brings to your team. Obviously, he's not the fastest guy in the world. There's not much to say about him because he's been number one on this list for a while now. The reason I have him, he gets every single team come. So if you're in, I, like, I don't know, the Eagles theme team, I, I really, I'm just naming a random theme team. They might have a quarterback. I'm just forgetting. But like, just say you're in a random theme team. You need a quarterback. He has that value there. He also gets hot row master and pass lead elite, which I think he's still the only quarterback that can get pass lead elite and hot row master. Other quarterbacks can get hot row master and set feed. And obviously pass lead is better. The Stan Marino, man, just, there's not much to talk about stats. He has the best throwing stats, I still think, in the game, if I'm not mistaken on that as well. he, Like I said, hot, gets good abilities. He gets every team kind of this card just brings so much value. He's still amazing. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know which card you think was too high, too low. Who do you think was left off the list? This, this helps me make a better video next time. It always will. Always appreciate the positive feedback. Even if it's a little bit negative, I always appreciate it. Like I said, it helps me make the next one. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.